Hey basketball coaches, players, and fans, today I'm going to explain to you what a Spain screen is. And of course, obviously you're here because you probably heard either your coach, a teammate, or somebody on TV or YouTube say Spain screen and you're trying to figure out what it is. Well, let's get down to the clipboard and let me break this down for you. So the first thing that happens in a Spain screen is when you've got player 5, for example, setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 will use that screen at, and at the same time, player 3 is going to be setting a screen on player 5. So that once player 1 gets past player 5, obviously player 1 could take that shot, we're going to now have player 5 cut to the basket after using player 3 as a screen. Now from there what we would be really looking for is a pass to player 5, whether it be a chest pass, a bounce pass, an alley-oop dunk, whatever it could be, that is the main idea behind this. Now how could we use this against our opponent in game? And that's actually a really good question. So here we have a 5 out basketball offense. It's 5 out because there's 5 players outside of the 3 point line. And really quickly, if you are interested in running the 5 out offense with your team, make sure to go check out my complete guide to the 5 out basketball offense down in the description below. But basically what we would have here is having player 5 setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 would use that screen and we would at the same time have player 4 come in and set a screen for player 5. Same idea as before. However, what we're looking to do here is if we had player 1 pass to player 5 and one or both of these defenders came in to play help defense because obviously no team wants to have any baskets made from inside this key, you're going to now have player 5 having a couple of different options. So we can have player 5 kick out to either player 3 or 2 for a 3 point shot. When this happens, we would then have player 2 or player 1 recovering to try and stop that shot from happening. If this was to happen, one option is obviously player 2. We can now have player 5 set up in the low post. We are now in the triangle, so if now if you are also knowledgeable as a team against the, about the triangle offense, you can set that up. Obviously player 2 could have taken that shot as well. But instead, what could have happened is player 1 could have said, well, I'm going to help out. Player 2 needs to go take player 1's man. And in, in this case, this would be an extra pass to player 1 for that 3-point shot. You can also run this in the Horns offense as well. So how you would do this in the Horns offense is by simply having player 4 set a screen up for player 1, player 1 using that screen, and then player 5 setting a screen for player 4 and player 4 attacking the basket. This is one of those types of screens that could actually be used in multiple different offensive sets. One of the most creative ways that I've actually seen this being ran was some pin down screens for players 2 and 3 and then player 2 and 3 setting a screen for obviously these guys would get out of the way for player 2 so player 2 would have player 1 use that screen and then we would have player 2 using player 3 as a screen cutting towards the basket and that could be a basket as well now the idea behind this one and that I've seen as an option when I've seen it being ran was sometimes we would have player 5 come in to defend the key. Obviously in some leagues and in a lot of cases back when I was a player, player 5 was not a 3 point shooter so when that happened he would cut baseline. This would be a tic-tac-toe style pass where it would be just, just a quick touch pass down to player 5 and he would go up for a dunk or a layup. Now I hope that these plays help your team win more win more games. If you're running a 5 out offense, make sure to go check out my book down below. Make sure to also try this out with your team. It's not a very difficult screen and if you're running a 4 out, a 5 out, or a 3 out, 2 in, or a horns, or whatever it may be, you can actually incorporate it into your offense and get yourself a lot of cheap easy points. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.